Hello friends, Namaskar. Pan Aadhaar linking is a very important compliance on the part of a taxpayer. And in the recent past, you might have seen that Income Tax Department has given certain advertisements in the newspaper saying that 31st of March 2023 will be the last date up to which you are supposed to link your PAN with Aadhaar. In this regard, I had two questions in my mind. One, most of the assessees which I think have already linked their PAN with the Aadhaar, but because of such kind of messages reflecting in the media, they may be also curious that whether their PAN is properly linked with the Aadhaar or not. So how to verify that? And secondly, those who have not linked their PAN with the respective Aadhaar number of them, then what is the process which can be adopted by them? So through this video, I am trying to answer both of these questions for the benefit of public at large. My dear friends, I would begin my discussion with this point that, okay, let's understand that how can we find out that your PAN is linked with your Aadhaar or not. You have to go to the income tax portal, that is income tax site. In the home tab, you will have certain quick links and two links are very important. One is the link Aadhaar status and second is link Aadhaar. The first one will let you know that whether your PAN is presently linked with the Aadhaar or not. So those who are curious to know that status will be able to take the help through this. And those who want to link their Aadhaar with the PAN will be able to do so when they click at this option. So let's say my dear friends, somebody has uh, this question in mind that whether my PAN is linked with my Aadhaar or not, what he or she simply needs to do, fill up the PAN, fill up the respective Aadhaar number there and then you have to click at the validate option. Once you do that, then you will have this next window. This next window in the present case, like say of mine, it reflects that here I inserted my PAN, I inserted my Aadhaar, it gives you the message your PAN so and so is already linked to the given Aadhaar so and so. So my job is done. So it is very simple for anybody to find out that whether his or her PAN is linked to the Aadhaar and if you find that this successful message is appearing, then your job is done. Now, I again repeat, those where they find that their PAN is not linked to the Aadhaar, they have to click at this option that is link Aadhaar. Moment you will click at link Aadhaar, you will find certain instructions or the information given there under and I would like to read them for the reference of the tax payers. As per CBDT circular number dated 30th of March 2022, every person who has been allotted a PAN as on 1st of July 2017 and is eligible to obtain Aadhaar number is required to link PAN with the Aadhaar on or before 31st of March 2022. So that date has already expired. but. Taxpayers who have failed to do so are liable to pay a fees of rupees 500 till 30th of June 2022. That date has already expired. And thereafter, a fee of rupees 1000 will be applicable before submission of PAN Aadhaar linkage request. And this is very important. Before your PAN Aadhaar linking request is filed, you are supposed to pay a fee of rupees 1000. Because some of people are uh, asking that why there is a fees, how there is a fees, CBDT, through this particular link Aadhaar option in information format is also telling you you are supposed to pay the fee. Further it says, please pay the applicable fees of rupees 1000 through ePay tax service to proceed with submission of Aadhaar PAN linking request. And in case you have already made the payment on the portal, Porten NSDL portal, please try linking after four or five working days from the date of payment. So they are saying that, okay, there may be a gap when you make the payment and when they will accept your request of PAN Aadhaar linking. Please make sure that fee payment is done under the minor head 500, other receipt 500 and major head 0021 income tax other than companies in a single chalan. So this is what CBDT is telling you before you are going into link Aadhaar option where your PAN and Aadhaar are not linked to each other. A very important question which would arise in the mind of an assessee is that why Mr. Bhatia there is a fees, where is this levy, where from this levy is arising. I would like to read the provisions of section 234H which were inserted post insertion of this section 139AA which is asking for linking of PAN and Aadhaar. Without prejudice to the provisions of this act where a person is required to intimate his Aadhaar number under section 139AA and such person fails to do so on or before such date which you have seen is 30, was 31st of 
March 2022 as may be prescribed, he shall be liable to pay such fees as may be prescribed, not exceeding 1000 rupees at the time of making intimation under subsection 2 of 139 AA after the said date. So, this is where from this levy of rupees 1000 is coming into force. So, if somebody is into that link Aadhaar option wherein he or she will insert his PAN and Aadhaar number, but simultaneously you should also note this side screen which is very important wherein it is written that please note following categories are exempted from Aadhaar PAN linking. So, if you are falling into these categories, you need not to bother about PAN Aadhaar linking that is if you are a non-resident Indian, if you are not a citizen of India, if you are at an age greater than 80 years as on the date when you are wishing to think of so, you are state of the residence, your state of residence is either Assam or Meghalaya or Jammu and Kashmir. In all such cases, you are not liable to link your PAN with the Aadhaar. So, assuming those that a case where an assessee did not have a linking of PAN and Aadhaar, inserted PAN and Aadhaar, then did validation and then there will be post payment of the fees, there will be a validation and that job will be done. Other way, round through which you can also find out that whether your PAN and Aadhaar linking is done or not. Suppose you log in into your PAN and then you find that okay it is say welcome back Anu this is my PAN number and I can find that okay last four digits of my Aadhaar may be reflecting here. So this also shows that okay my PAN and Aadhaar linking is already done. So this is an alternate way to check whether your PAN and Aadhaar linking is there or not. I would also like to take you through the provisions of section 139AA which basically mandated this point that okay coating of Aadhaar and linking it with the PAN is mandatory. I would like to read it since beginning. This is a provision of the law. Every person who is eligible to obtain Aadhaar number shall on or after 1st day of July 2017 quote Aadhaar number in the application form for allotment of PAN and in the return of income. So this makes it mandatory wherever you are filing the return you are liable to disclose your Aadhaar therein, wherein you are applying for the PAN, then also you are liable to inform your PAN detail. Provided that where the person does not possess the Aadhaar number, then the enrollment ID that is which you obtain on Aadhaar application can also be submitted. Every person who has been allotted PAN as on 1st day of July 2017 and who is eligible to obtain Aadhaar shall intimate his Aadhaar number to such authority in such form and manner as may be prescribed. In case of failure to intimate Aadhaar number, the permanent account number allotted to person shall be deemed to be invalid. This is a very important point that your PAN may be deemed to be invalid and then consequent provision, other provision of this act shall apply as if you have not applied for PAN at all. So, this is something really very serious for which one has to be cautious. Now, let me also discuss with you briefly the provisions of rule 114 AAA which provide for manner of making PAN inoperative because this rule says that where a person who has been allotted a PAN as on 1st day of July 2017 and is required to intimate his Aadhaar number under 139 AA and he has failed to intimate the same on or before 31st day of March 2022, the PAN of such person shall become inoperative immediately after the sad date. So, somebody's PAN may have become inoperative because of the provision of 114 AAA rule. Where a person whose PAN has become inoperative under sub rule 1 is required to furnish intimate quote his PAN under this act, it shall be deemed that he has not furnished intimated quoted PAN as the case may be in accordance with provision of this act and he shall be liable for all consequences for not furnishing intimating quoting the PAN. So, this is somebody has to be ready when he or she is not updating his Aadhaar linking it to the PAN. However, this sub rule 3 is important which says where the person referred to in sub rule 1 has intimated his Aadhaar number under subsection 2 of 139 AA after 31st day of March 2022. So, say if somebody is doing it as on date after payment of fees in accordance with sub rule 5A of rule 114, his PAN shall become operative. So, there is a provision in the law that either your PAN will be fully operative because it is linked or it will be inoperative because it is not linked. And as per 139 it also appears that PAN can be treated to be invalid also. So, one has to be cautious that his or her PAN should not be treated to be invalid. You have to try your level best that it becomes operative by way of, by way of making payment of the fees which is prescribed in the law. 
One last but not the least point which is very important for every viewer of this video to see that as per CBDT circular number 7 oblique 2022 para 4, for the rule 114 of income tax rule provides that if PAN of a person has become inoperative, he will not be able to furnish intimate court his PAN and shall be liable to all consequences under this act for such failure. This will have a number of implications such as the person shall not be able to file return with an inoperative PAN, pending return will not be processed, pending refunds cannot be issued, pending proceeding as in the case of defective return cannot be completed once the PAN is inoperative and very importantly tax will be required to be deducted at the higher rate as PAN becomes inoperative. So again and again the message is that somehow one has to come out of inoperativeness of this kind of PAN and ensure that PAN and other linking is properly done. At the end, my dear friends, I hope this video would have been able to serve the purpose that either you can check with the help of this video that whether your Aadhaar PAN linking is done and if it is not done, then in the background of the law, what is the importance of the same and you should be there to ensure the linking of your PAN with Aadhaar. So with all these things, with all these points which I discussed with you, wishing you all the best. Jai.